Today we're going to look at the groove for I'm Walking by Fats Domino, a seminal record from 1957 that a lot of people will be familiar with from a particular scene in the Blues Brothers, a very famous music documentary that I recommend you should check out if you haven't seen it before. Uh, the drums were provided by the legendary Earl Palmer, who is arguably the progenitor of rock and roll drumming, and was certainly a very influential figure in terms of turning music from mostly shuffled rhythms to straight eights. Uh, he recorded with Little Richard things like Tutti Frutti and Good Golly Miss Molly that um, sort of introduced that uh, straight eighth feel to rock and roll alongside a few other artists. This groove is a train beat with a New Orleans second line type of bass drum pattern. Uh, it goes something like this. Let's examine the ingredients. First, the snare drum pattern is pretty straightforward. We're going to be playing straight eighth notes on the snare, soft eighths with two and four accented. Something like this. I've made a couple of videos about how to play the train beat explaining the technical details so I won't bother with that here you can find the other videos and uh, check them out if you don't know how to do this already. Next the bass drum is playing on the one and the three in the first bar of this two bar phrase and then on the one the and of two and the four in the second bar and that's your uh, second line pattern the New Orleans bass drum pattern or ostinato if you want to call it that and it goes like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and three, and four. I've also seen this referred to as a three, three, two rhythm because it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. It's also something that's familiar as the first three notes of a three, two son clave, the clave being this thing. And the first three notes, I believe, are known sometimes as a tracio. The groove or the, this rhythmic feel is, is probably one of the most ubiquitous uh, rhythms known to mankind, really. You'll hear it in the musics of, of uh, cultures uh, all over the world. And uh, a lot of it in the pop charts these days, if you're unfortunate enough to listen to such things. Anyway, let's see how we combine that with the aforementioned or aforedemonstrated snare drum pattern. So. The first two bass drum notes on the one and three. Easy enough. Okay, in the second bar, we've got the bass on the one, the and of two, and the four. Something like this. So let's stick the bass drum with the snare. It goes like this. The first bar again, one and three, and the second bar, bass drum on the one, the and of two, and the four. Sped up a little bit, we get this. And uh, as always, I recommend you work on that nice and slowly to make sure that all your strokes line up nicely together. In particular, notice on the end of two, you're going to have a coincident uh, move between the right foot on the bass and the, the left hand playing the snare, or whichever handedness you follow. I would also recommend adding the hi-hat on the two and four. In the recording there's hand claps uh, and or maybe a tambourine or something like that. I can't remember now, uh, even though I listened to it this morning, but you know, a certain age and all that. Um, but I'm going to put the two and four with my left foot um, on the hi-hat just to give uh, a little bit more chick to the backbeat here. So. And 
and that's pretty much the groove and uh, there's there's hardly anything else going on. Earl Palmer just sticks to that basic groove throughout the song. Apart from the introductory bit of bass drum, the only other variation here is uh, there's a couple of eighth note fills leading into the two sax solos. How cool is that? Back in the olden days, not just one sax solo, but two sax solos, and uh, a bloody good thing it is too. But um, we're going to just play some triplets at the end of the bar leading into the sax solo. So you get this, And then he crashes into the next bar. Once you feel like you're getting the hang of the groove, you can try adding the fill. And uh, maybe just start with a whole bar of triplets. So it would go like this. try and do that a bunch of times uh, when you get up to the speed of the song you'll notice it's quite brisk maybe it's a good exercise to improve your single strokes And that's what you need to know to be able to play I'm Walking by Fats Domino and get into that New Orleans vibe. Uh, and if you enjoy doing that, check out some of the other famous drummers from New Orleans, people like Zigaboo Modelis, the Funk Master from The Meters, um, Herlin Riley, who's a fantastic drummer, uh, Johnny Vidakovic, and uh, in the educational sphere, uh, Stanton Moore is quite well known for teaching this kind of stuff. So uh, broaden your scope on this, this type of music because it... Um, I don't know, it informs everything that we do, really. Um, that's that for today. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe to help me with the algorithm and to keep yourself up to date on future videos. And now uh, there's probably time for you to go away and practice.